Hawaii's history is full of examples of political and civic engagement, including the outstanding efforts of the Association of Hawaiian Civic Clubs over the last 100 years. By the time the Hawaiian Civic Club was created in 1918, uh, Prince Kalani Ole had been in Congress for 15, 16 years. The climate in Honolulu had really changed by that time. Every time he came home between sessions, he noticed that the conditions for his people were worsening. They weren't getting better. The need for teaching um, our people about how to handle the new economy that really was dominant in, in Honolulu was very, very much needed. One of the main issues is that many Hawaiians who had previously lived out in the far-reaching country areas, the, the lava'i'a, the fishermen, the mahi'ai, the farmers, were displaced from their lands. And so into Honolulu and into other towns on the other islands were built tenement houses. Early on, Prince Kalani Ole would have gatherings at his home, Pu'alei Lani in Waikiki. And again, while he's flying back and forth, he and his wife, Elizabeth Kahanu, he would come home and get right to the business of his people. And the idea then for both uh, the Hawaiian Rehabilitation Act, which became the, the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act, as well as the establishment of the Hawaiian Civic Club, was to restore uh, the economic, social, and intellectual status of Hawaiian people, and also to increase pride in Hawaiian race heritage. A year before the founding of the Hawaiian Civic Club, Kuhio's aunt, Queen Ili Uokalani, passed away. When he called together the luncheon at the Alexander Young Hotel, and this was called uh, in November of 1918 to bring together Hawaiian leaders, there were about 70 people in attendance, and again, looking back to the era when Hawaiians were not allowed to meet in public or to have gatherings in public, this is many years later now where a Hawaiian ali'i is now a United States representative in Congress. So that turned over time and the idea or the thought of Prince Kalani Ole was to have regular weekly lunch meetings that would bring our concerns in the Hawaiian community that would ultimately speak to the well-being of the Lahui. And remember the efforts of the kupuna gone before, because now over a hundred years uh, looking back, we can remember and appreciate the good work and the good foresight of our ali'i and the people that he chose as his confidants, as his associates, to make this uh, reality happen. Mm -hmm.